All right, so we're gonna start with number four for this little fly I've been trying to tie up. I think I'm gonna call it the P40 because when it comes out, you'll see it kind of looks like a little World War II fighter plane. Now with this saddle hackle, I'm not looking for the thinnest of the bunch, but I'm also not looking for the more sloppy feathers out of here. I just want something right in the middle. Work those stems all the way up. What I'm looking for on this back hook is I want it to be pretty sparse, not a ton of material. I want to keep it really light. That's kind of why I went with that fairly small hook for a bigger streamer. Grab a number one. This is where we're going to set our eyes and this is kind of going to, this is where it's going to make or break your head at the end of this. Because if those eyes aren't set right and you don't leave yourself enough room up front there, you will crowd the head. But I go about what I would think about a quarter of the way through that shank and I'm just going to Start with a few figure eight wraps over this eye. And then to lock them in, I'm going to come under a few times and pull tight. Pull pretty tight on that 280. Really reef down on it. And then once I flip these eyes, because I want that hook point right and down, riding down, is where I'll make sure I'll come in. And I can really reef if I need to straighten those eyes out. Same thing, this is super critical. That if your eyes aren't on there straight or even, it'll want to roll on you. You don't want that fly rolling, but we're just going to tie those in really nice and tight. Alright. Now we're getting into the controversial stuff. Don't use your good scissors for this. Three of these Wonder Balls for this sucker. So I want that, that hook fairly far back there so it has plenty of room to kick out. That way it won't also, it won't foul on you. Now the one thing with this wire is when I put it on there, I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit and kind of make that tight U shape, but I don't want to pinch it down and make that sharpness because I want to have a little bit where that fly can, that back hook can really kick.
The other thing I'm really looking for here is making sure that those two pieces of wire aren't crisscrossed underneath those beads or else that back hook will want to rotate on you. Just give it a couple wraps and then I can adjust that length. You can see how I still have that little bit of air in between there and that'll really let that back hook flow really nicely for you. This is where I'm going to leave a little bit of room here so I can slide a collar in. I'm going to double that back over. Add a little bit of olive marabou. That marabou is coming back to just about the end of that chenille we wrapped in. I'm going to take this. I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping this marabou quill on my side of the fly right now. When we come in with our second, we'll do it on the other side and I don't have Pull all this back and just give myself a little space right behind that eye so I can start putting in this deer head collar. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I need some primo. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull quite a bit of this. Some of this is gonna fall out as you comb out some of that. Under for, but I'm using quite a bit. Then I take my comb, run it through, just it's pretty much pretty good. You don't have a ton, a ton of under fur in there. This is the only one I'm going to stack just because it is your collar. I'll get all that in the stacker there. Nasty ones. And the shorties, we just pull out of there. Now, you don't want to fondle this thing too much, not like your girlfriend. Very drunk. So we're gonna measure that back. I want to measure. I'm gonna bring it back to about the back of that chenille there. So when I switch here, because I'm gonna trim this. I want to make sure that you're replacing your fingers that you just switched hands with. And I'm going to cut this pretty short and basically what we're going to do here is make a big giant elk hair caddis. I'm going to slide that on there give my give my thread just a little spin so I coil it up over the top one fairly loose wrap. I'm going to get a little tighter tighter again. That's where you're going to start. Filling out that, that collar. You'll see that collar comes all the way back, almost kind of blends in with the marabou.
we're going to spin that deer hair around the hook. And all I need is one clump here. Sort it out before you take it. So, when I slide this on there, I'm kind of going to keep it at that little bit of a 45 degree angle at first. I'm going to come over with one loose wrap. You'll see it kind of start to flare. Come over with two, get a little more flare in it, really pull down. Then this third one I'm going to get a, quite a bit tighter. I'm still holding on to that, that hair with my left hand pretty tight. And as I let go and pull, theoretically it will all spin around the hook and not blow up. Just let that spin through and tighten. Off the bat, I'm really going to work up. I don't want to cut too horizontally into that into that hair because I want it to transition into that laser dub pretty good. So I'm going to start coming up. That's where having a nice sharp razor blade. Just take your time with it. Did all this work to get here don't mess it up now so that's about all I do on that for the for now Steady. same thing on the top I'm really starting by coming up and go slow because this is where I really don't want to come back into that collar want to keep that collar in pretty good shape. And I'm just going to start working my way around this fly, come to the sides, and start working that taper into it. There you go. There she is. B40.